Hi, I'm Danielle, one of the prolotherapists at Caring Medical, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of a shoulder ultrasound exam um, on this patient. So here at the office, we treat a lot of shoulders. We see a lot of rotator cuff tears, impingement, shoulder laxity, um, and a lot of cases like that where sometimes having the ultrasound machine is a, is a benefit. You know, if we suspect that someone might have a rotator cuff tear, or that a tendon is getting impinged, you know, we can use this machine to help us uh, with that diagnostic. On the other side, if somebody you know, knows that, let's say they have a tear here and they have an MRI um, that says that, we can use the ultrasound machine to, to guide injections specifically into that tear. So I'm going to get started here. Um, common things that patients come to the office for, like I said, you know, like a rotator cuff tear is pretty common. Um, and they might say, hey, I was raking a lot of leads or I was lifting all these heavy boxes and then gosh like my shoulder is just killing me you know I can't put it over my head or, or pick up my backpack so they'll come to the office and oftentimes we'll say okay you know do you have a tear let's find out with this ultrasound exam so I put some jelly here I'm just gonna do and spread it around and one of the first things I'll look for is actually the sub uh, scapularis tendon in the shoulder one of the rotator cuff ones so I'm actually gonna have you Take your arm here, we're gonna put it out like you've got a tray here. And I'm gonna help support that. And so I'll just kind of look until it comes up on the screen. And what's good about this too is that I can actually move this arm and watch the tendon on the screen as it kind of moves through this passage. And it looks healthy, you know, it doesn't look like there's any tears, it's moving smoothly, you're not in any pain. Mm -hmm. No, okay, all right. So you go ahead and set your shoulder here. We also will look at the biceps tendon. You know, if somebody, uh, maybe like a really competitive weightlifter or whatnot that has pain that kind of comes down the arm, we'll look at the biceps tendon. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to see if it kind of jumps around or, or stays where it should, which looks pretty good. And then now I'm going to have you actually kind of put your hand like you've got it in your back pocket. This is a really quick exam, you know, and, and um, other patients, you know, will be a little bit more detailed, but just to kind of give you an idea. Again, this is how you're looking at the supraspinatus tendon, really common um, in rotator cuff tears or strains. That's a common tendon that gets injured. And what happens too, um, a lot of times with the supraspinatus tendon is that when patients have a tear, they'll say, oh, I could maybe you know, do this with my arm, but going out this way is just excruciating. They have a lot of time, or a lot, of, excuse me, a hard time bringing their shoulder out like that. And what we can actually do is actually do some imaging again where we move the shoulder, let me find my spot here, like this and actually watch the tendon um, as, it, as it moves uh, with the arm and look to see if it's clear, unobstructed, you know, there's no big pocket of fluid or anything like that so we can really evaluate for an impingement as well. Again too on top of the shoulder we've got the AC joint or the acromioclavicular joint which again, um, we can look at like this, or we can move, I'm gonna move your arm here, once I get a good image, and see if that shoulder has a lot of laxity. If I kind of push here, does anything move, or does the space open up and diagnose injuries that way? Coming across the shoulder, I'll just go this way, um, we can actually finish our rotator cuff exam, looking at the infraspinatus, um, and then also the teres minor as they kind of wrap around um, as well. The, the labrum, we can actually, if someone has a labral tear in their shoulder, we can easily guide injections around that area as well, um, you know, just to kind of make sure we're getting everything we need around the tear.